Hey besties, so what I'm actually doing here today is a cigar wrapper. The motivation behind this was that I wanted to do a Father's Day basket and the print for the Father's Day basket is this red and black plaid right here. So I just downloaded it from Google and I uploaded it to my design the space. The goal was to just basically add some custom items, a bottle of cognac, a cigar, etc. So I went to SE to see what they had and after looking at the templates, I was like, I don't need to buy these, you know, I could make them myself. So that is how this whole idea came about. So basically, I just wanted to show you guys like I do with pretty much everything, the versatility and the things that you can create with uh, the cigar wrappers. So I did like, you know, an engagement theme type of um, cigar wrapper here. This would be for a wedding. This is one that I am doing for my husband's podcast. One thing to note is all of them are the same dimensions. However, I know that there are some different size cigars, so you may need to measure yours just to make sure that it'll fit within um, the measurements that I made. Otherwise, you know, you can use the exact same measurements that I used and not have any problem. As long as one like this where you don't have too much overlap and it ends up cutting off what you're putting in for, you know, writing. So always do a sample before you print out all of them so that you don't end up having to redo it. I will show you how I did my templates and then we will go ahead and print and apply them to the cigars. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is with my circle, I'm going to change it to my dimensions of 1.25. And then I'm going to change one of these squares, take the lock, lock proportion off, and I'm going to change the width to 2.75. And I'm going to change my height to 0.5. So... I will stick it here over the circle and then I'm going to weld them together. So this is how I got this design. Now another option you can do is take your lock proportions and you're going to make that same dimensions 2.75 5.5. You'll take the square and you'll stick it over the line that you're using so maybe like that let's take the lock off and then we're gonna make this about 1.25 as well and then what we'll do is take this box and we'll make it 1.15 And I will take and unlock this. And then I'm just going to bring it up like this. And spread it thin. So just like that. And then I will take these. And I will weld it together. And then you have a different shape of um, cigar wrapper. So you can use either of those or you know even even some that you come up with on your own and then you go here to your side panel and you can go to print the patterns if you chose to do a pattern you can choose anything that comes up there so this is one that I actually uploaded from a Google search so I will change that one so let me click on this one I'll go to patterns and then if I scroll down you'll see down here is all the patterns that Cricut offers you for a price if you have Cricut access you can um, use some of these at no additional charge to add an element to your wrapper that was you know kind of like this thing that I did here that's basically I just 
duplicated my label twice and I'm going to go ahead and match these with how I want it. I'm going to unlock this and then bring it up. Okay, and then you just select them together and then slice. So now you can go ahead and add the rest of your design elements based off of whatever theme you choose. Besties, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take the cigar and bucket is what I'm using for the Father's Day basket. So that's why I went with this theme of uh, cigar wrap. It'll look like this. And um, I just put the kids initials right there. So here is the finished result. I will be making a label for the cognac bottle next. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.